What up, boxing fans? It's your boy Lalo, aka Lalo from Lalo's Boxing, and I'm coming at you live with a fucking fight review between Jermel Charlo versus Gastano, man. First of all, man, let me say this is what boxing needs. It was a good fucking fight, man. I enjoyed it, and uh, to make it better, man, it was between two champions fighting for the glory to become the man in the division. And to become the undisputed champion of the world. And, you know, shout out to both guys, man. You know, they did their thing in the ring. But in my personal opinion, one guy got robbed. And his name is Castano. I think Castano did enough to, you know, pull out the victory. But we got judges that shouldn't be judges. And I said it before. These judges should be held reliable for the scorecards they put out. I mean, 117, 111, come on, man. That's fucked up, man. Y'all literally robbed Castano's dream from being an undisputed champion of the world. That judge should be held reliable. That judge should never fucking judge a fight in his life again. It's ridiculous, man. Them scorecards is what killed the sport of boxing. You know, it gives boxing a black eye. And it's not fair, you know, for Castano, man, because he... We don't know what he sacrificed during his training camp or his life or, you know, all the hard work he put in just to be robbed. That's fucked up, man. Fuck them scorecards, man. I believe that, you know, Castano should be crowned undisputed champion. And no disrespect to Jamel Charlo. Jamel fought a great fight, but it wasn't his night, you know. Uh, I believe he, he got outworked by Castano and uh, he was just trying to land that one big shot and take him out but that big shot never came and one thing I noticed we all know Mel got a good uppercut and this fight he never threw the uppercut but in all the fucking jabs and fucking power punches and all that uh, fucking Castano outworked him and it's sad that you know we don't have an undisputed champion due to the politics of boxing it's not right, man. I mean, Castano was against the judges, the referee, and Charlo in the, going into this fight, man. We're fight, He was fighting in his hometown. And we all know, man, Texas is a shady-ass state for you know to be fighting in. There, we see a lot of bad scorecards in that state. And I believe this judge should be held accountable and shouldn't fight, you know, shouldn't score another fucking fight. In his life again due to that fucking scorecard 117 111 come on man that's fucking bullshit man but you know overall it was a great event man both fighters you know gave it their all both fighters deserve their fucking credit and you know mel is did his thing but just came up short in my opinion even though you know it was a draw a draw technically means a w for castano i'm just gonna throw it out there man and uh, even if it was a split decision, I believe, you know, it should have went to fucking Castano. But a draw, you know, Castano should, you know, keep his head held high. And, uh, you know, he said he want to run it back. So I don't know if Mel going to run it back because, you know, he is a three belt holder. And there is mandatories that got to be, you know, that got to get their chance to fight for the belt. But I believe, you know. They, they got to run it back, man. Hopefully, the sanctioned bodies and the organizations, you know, force it, force him to run it back because um, it was just a hell of a fight. And in my opinion, Castano needs to be crowned undisputed. But it is what it is, man. Um, sometimes this is part of the sport of boxing, you know, that people just be like, damn. That's why, you know, we, there's no really no fans because of, you know, the politics and these scorecards, these awful judges and shit like that. You know, fans leave from the sport of boxing because of this shit. But, you know, the 154 division, it's still stacked. We got a lot of great fighters, but I believe that they need to run it back because we deserve an undisputed champion. And he should have been crowned tonight. And his name it goes by Brian Castano, man, from Argentina. The kid did his thing. And, you know... I became a fan of him tonight even more. I mean, he showed me that he's durable. You know, he comes to fight and he leaves it all. You know, even when he was hurt, he tried to st- stay his ground and fucking, you know, throw bombs away. And I was like, damn, 
I was yelling out like, oh, me, I was fucking yelling out like, man, use the fucking ring. Because he, he was getting hurt. He was getting caught. But motherfuckers show too much heart. And, you know, they don't make him like that no more. But, you know, moving forward, man, I just want to see the rematch. And hopefully they make it soon. But let me know what you guys think about, you know, this fight and who you guys had winning. And um, just drop a comment, man. Show me what your scorecard was or, you know, who you had winning. And make sure you guys like the video, subscribe. And this is your boy Lalo, and I'm signing off. Yee!